You don't ever go through all that three, two, one shit. Alright, we'll just do it. Just do our music. Talk, nigga. Don't worry mm -hmm. about me. Yo, what up? DJ 2020 in the building. I'm in the building with my man John Backwood. It's your boy John Backwood. We just finished yesterday uh, putting in some work on uh, our Blackout video. That's coming soon. I just do an advertisement of about. I used one of the photos he took yesterday. You know, just to show some of his work. Come get that man. That man do what he got to do. Subscribe below. Don't forget, you know, you want to talk to me and all that. I'm not going to get into all that cornball stuff they do. You know Facebook, what to do. Facebook, John Backwood, Instagram, Facts. John underscore Backwood. Huh? Basically, so um, we're going to sit here. We're going to talk about uh, music. music. My opinion on music and his opinion on music. It's two different things because I'm young and he's older. Yeah, and I feel the music today is trash. But I'm not saying all of it is trash. It's just that they have no sustenance. Sustenance meaning, I'm going to let him explain his part, but let me explain to you. Sustenance meaning, nobody's teaching a lesson no more. I, I guess to the youth that's boring, but I always felt that music was a voice, and music always encouraged and, and brought forth the ability of somebody to think positive, believe in themselves, and know they could do whatever they can do. Now, if you got music that's just sitting there preaching and talking about... Uh, go pop pills, go get drunk, then what kind of message are you instilling in today's impressionable youth? And y'all know what I mean by they super impressionable, this youth today. But that's why I'm sitting here with Backwood, so he can explain to me, to y'all, about why what I'm saying is probably wrong. I don't feel I'm wrong because everybody's entitled to their opinion, but he's going to explain and try to make me understand today's music and why I should embrace it the same way I embrace old school music. Alright, for example, the reason why I embrace today's music so heavy and so hard is because music is art and it's art is always gonna change and it's always gonna like you know, it's always, Reinvent gonna, like, itself. It's always gonna invent itself, it's always gonna like mm -hmm. do something to make it better because like nothing really stays the same anymore. No. And if it stays the same then it's boring after a while because you're doing the same things like what is the difference in what you're doing <clears throat> versus what somebody else is doing? It's like no difference at all. It's all the same. But, but I feel like mm -hmm. music music is different now than it is back then because you have so many more people with like different mindsets and so many open minds. Like I like Famous Dex. Even though Famous Dex doesn't really talk about anything <clears throat> in his music, but Famous Dex, is he's a creator. And Famous Dex, he's different because his energy, the way he puts his energy in his music, like his videos, everybody laughing about like the way he does his ad-libs and his songs, but like that shows energy and that shows like he's compassionate about his music. He ha he doesn't have just one mixtape, he doesn't have two mixtapes. Famous X has around like four or five mixtapes and he's always doing something, Dexter's Lab. He, he, he talks about Dexter's Lab because you know, that's what, that's what, that's what he grew up with. He grew up watching, fame, I mean, what's the show? Yeah, about? but you know, that's a, you know that's a straight jack, right? Because I didn't have Dexter's Lab studio for years. But Pat, Pat Pending. But Famous Dex likes, I mean, that's what Famous Dex likes, so that's what he's No, I don't knock him for knocking the cartoon, because I love the he's, cartoons. He's, he's, he's a creator. He, he creates things. He, even though he doesn't, he loves clothes, he loves fashion, he loves his kids. That's that's another thing about, like, Famous Dex. Like, he loves his kids. Like, and then See, but that's what I'm talking about. That's the misconstruement that everybody got. <clears throat> I don't knock no artists, no artists, down to the niggas that put, like I said yesterday on my Facebook post, down to the niggas that put the Kool-Aid, down to the niggas that wear the stretchies. I don't knock them for trying to be creative or trying to be unique or trying to be different. I'm talking about messages. Messages. What message are you sending to the youth? What are you telling them? You can't keep telling these kids, you're creating the new addict. That's what I see. You create when you got these kids out here popping perks and all this, taking shrooms and get drunk and partying bullshit. That's biggie shit. Partying bullshit. You telling these kids it's all right for them to do that, but all you doing is creating the next addict. You creating the next nigga that's gonna hit you in your head because he done fucked up his life so bad, trying to follow the trend and stay up with what this guy said that he popping pills that he become an addict. That's all I'm defending. I'm just saying, hey. If you're going to do the music thing, if you're going to be creative, take your creativity to the next level, but each one teach one. Teach one somebody something. Don't sit there and just tell me it's all right to party because in real life, in reality, it's not about partying bullshit. 
Because when real life smack you, real life smack the shit out of you. And all that partying and bullshit ain't going to save you when you're on the street. That's all I'm saying. That's the only thing I got wrong with the records that's out now. They're not teaching anything. Some records aren't teaching things. Like, for example, like I like Flappers Zombies a lot. Like, they're not as big as they are as Arab. Like, but they're relevant. They're not, they're not as big. Flappers Zombies is not as big as um, Famous Dex. But they are relevant. Like, for example, like, they like. So many songs they have like that teaches lessons. Like, let me, let me see. No, we don't want to hear the song. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play the song. <laughs> what, what, what I'm just telling you is, I understand your point of view and what you're saying. All I'm saying is, okay, Flatbush Zombies and groups like that. Yes, I love conscious rappers. I'm a very Talib Kweli, Common. Um, um, what's that other dude name? It's a couple of them out there. Even down to um, what's your your dude name? Um. The one I like, um, this guy. Who? Joey? Joey Badass. Capital Steez. I like Capital Steez. Capital Steez, okay, I like, I, like, I like Pro Era. Pro Era itself, like, come on, Pro Era got so big that Obama's daughter wore a Pro Era shirt and she took a picture with it because she likes Pro Era so much. That's fact. And no, no rapper in the world, no rapper, no group, no Body has ever got a president's daughter to wear a, 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 a t shirt to basically endorse. To represent them. She endorses Pro Era. Yeah. And who was in Pro Era? Capital Steve. The main two people that were in Pro Era is Capital Steve and Joey. And Joey, he's he, his mind is like, I don't feel like a lot, of, a lot of rappers are on his head. Like Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar, he's all of this stuff, all of the hype is about him. But like, I don't really like Kendrick Lamar. It's like that. I don't like. Who else? What's his name? I kind of dig Kendrick Lamar because his, his name is Lamar. What's his name? What's the name? Um, the other one. Um, he's a lot of them. No, the one he has dreads now. Um, he's he's in the same category as Kendrick Lamar. Um, not B O B and all. Oh, not B O B. He's um, um he's light skin. Um, it's a, light skin making making a comeback. Yeah, I gotta watch yeah, that. Yeah, I watch that. Um, <laughs> watch what's that. his name? Um, um. We ain't gonna tussle around. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna think of his name. Well, you his think what you talk. We, we ain't but, gonna waste Yeah, I don't film. like him, and I don't, I don't really like him like that. He's not, he's not. Kendrick Lamar, he's not all that. Like, the things that he took about is average. Like, the, the you talking about Smile? No. Crooked not. Smile, not Crooked Smile, right? What's his name with Crooked Smile? Yeah, he made a song with Drake. Um, no, but what's his name? The dude that made Crooked Smile. Crooked Smile, what's that? Uh, the girl with the Crooked Smile. Your man! He just bought the, um,. This, he opened up a school for, for I think for retarded kids. I'm not sure. He's big. I, I I'm, I'm getting close to who you're talking about. Um, with the baby afro, um, light skin nigga. Yeah. Um, he's big. See now he got me stuck on this shit. Mm -hmm. It's this dude. We all know who he is. I bet you as soon as I said crooked smile, a bunch of y'all type down below the name because you know who I'm talking about. Crooked Smile. He, he got the Crooked Smile song. But, okay, they know. Just put right, the, look, hit uh, the subscribe button. No, no, no. Write in the comment as far as that who the... Write in the comment who I'm talking about. I keep it real. I don't edit shit. <laughs> keep it What's real. What's name? Um, it, 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 it start with a J, too. Yeah, it starts with a J. Um, with a J. They know. They already wrote on the bottom who we talking about. Not we, Joel Santana. No, name? not Joel Santana. Joel Santana is grimy. Um, oh, yeah, whatever his name is, but I don't like. I, that's, I don't like him because he's a, oh, he's also another concert. J Cole. J Cole. There you go. J Cole. J Cole. People. J Cole. J. Cole. Yeah, J Cole. I don't like J Cole because like he's 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 whack to me. But I gotta give it to him. He produces whole. He produces whole album, and he got like oh, what did he get? He got a um. He went diamond. No, he went. He went double diamond. He went double diamond. For his last album. On his last album. He produced that whole album and he did that album himself. And I gotta give him respect to that, but he has nothing on Joey. Like, Joey's from, he's from um, Bed Stuy and Bed Stuy, like, it, it, a lot of things go on there. Like, it's, it's a lot of different mindsets, a lot of, like, different things, like, that go on. Like, you have to, like, always change the mental. You always gotta, like, stay, you gotta, your mental always has to be sharp. In order for you to know the lingo, in order for you to know what's going wrong, what's going on, and everything like that, because if if to be alive is to be aware, to be aware, to be alive. yeah, be to be aware. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> if you're aware, then you're obviously alive, and like that's what I feel like Joey is. Like each year that goes on, he's always aware, and he's always he always knows what's going on. 
And that's what Flappers Zombies like. They, they do. But see, that's them guys I call conscious rappers. They're conscious. They're conscious of what's going on in their hood, what's going on in the politics, what's going on, you know, what's going on with life. And they bring to, but that's why they considered the underground because they now here we go to. again. I'm not blaming you per se, but your generation don't want to hear that. It's too much positivity for them. They want to hear about popping perks. They want to hear about getting drunk. Like Future, Future is a trash rapper. But you loved him at one time. Me? Yeah, you put him on. I like Future. Like, okay, because I like Future because you know he. I like Future because of the hype. You can't like him in this life. No, you okay, I'm, I'm, I'm explaining to you. No, I'm explaining to you why okay. I liked him. The reason why I liked him because you know he was. Popping at one time and his, his 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 music is catchy. Right, you like them for now. You I like, like them for that, that like point. Drake, I hate Drake. I I don't like Drake. I I, I hate Drake so much because Drake is such a trash rapper. Like, what is he? What does he do that makes him differently? Like, but it's your generation that made him hot. My generation is trash too. Like, <laughs> your I, generation I made him hot. I don't know. I'm I've been saying that when Drake came out the wheelchair, when he came up at the grassy, and then they told me that Jay Z had competition. I said. Who going to battle Jay-Z? Not that Jay-Z is the greatest rapper, because I think I'm better than Jay-Z. Just to tell you the truth, I just don't got the stats he got. But Jay-Z, to me, he's an I rapper. He can rhyme. I've been following Jay-Z for years. But my problem is, when you said this nigga hopped out of a wheelchair from the grass, remember, because he was the dude in the wheelchair, and all of a sudden, he was the next best thing to Jay-Z. Nigga said, oh, he sound like a light-skinned Jay-Z. Light-skinned niggas making a comeback, I'm telling you. And they said he was the next thing to Jay-Z. And then he came out, and I listened to his style. He spit. He spit. I'm not going to take that from him because that's... The what... only reason why he spits is because he has Ghost Riders. He's, yeah, yeah, but you know what? Trash. Big up to the Ghost Riders. Y'all niggas yeah, getting money, too. Yeah, big up to the Y'all getting know, money. Y'all getting y'all money. Make catchy, y'all make catchy songs. Like, yeah, y'all getting Kanye money, West. Like Kanye West really wouldn't be... If you can't to... rap, if you can't make a beat, if you don't know how to record... But you know how to write and you sell love music. your shit. Especially sell you your music. shit to Especially these rappers. If you love music, you know, do something in Cause music. Cause don't sleep. Don't sleep. Lil Wayne had ghostwriters too. Rick Ross got ghostwriters too. Yeah, of course. Everybody got ghostwriters. So all the ghostwriters out there getting money, get that money. I like that shit. Cause I'm about to ghost 